Hi, what's going on YouTube? If you guys don't already know me, my name is Q. If you're not subscribed or if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also follow me on Instagram at OKQ. All right, so anyways, I created a poll for you guys and you guys wanted to see some Wanna type beats, some beats for Gunna, the new album, Wanna. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So I got an instance of FL Studio pulled up right here. We got the BPM set at 113, and I'm gonna try and lay down a little melody that sounds like something Gunna would rap on. I'm actually gonna, instead of starting with Omnisphere today, we're gonna go into Nico's Exotic Volume 2 one-shot kit. I'm gonna just look for a bell here that sounds decent, and then I'm gonna use that to create the first bass of the melody. All right, so what you just saw me do there is I laid down a chord progression and I was bringing up that middle note just to make the chord progression sound a little wider and fuller. And then I just added some notes in between to kind of act as a counter melody. And as you hear it right now, it kind of sounds a little too happy and bouncy, but we're gonna add some effects to that and make it sound a little more like Gunna. So first thing I'm gonna add is RC Retro Color just to make it a little distorted and add some noise. Cool. 
so I like that. I'm gonna add a delay next, and I'm gonna just set this to. Let's see. I'm probably gonna do a dotted one eighth or one fourth note, and we're gonna bring the mix down and the spread up, and see how that sounds. <laughs> Bring it down to one eighth. All right, so I like the the base of what we got so far. I'm just trying to add a little bit more to it, just to fill out the rest of the melody and see if we can just get it to sound a lot more like that new album. Right, so what I did here is I just removed all the counter melody from it and lengthened the actual chords so it, it just plays the full note and then I brought it up an octave and then I'm going to hit alt s on my keyboard just to strum it a little bit just to add a little bit of uh, humanization. <laughs> Alright cool so I think I got a pretty good foundation set for what I want to do with the rest of this so Next, I'm gonna try and add like some vocal synth or just like some textures that'll sit up in the background.
All right, cool. So I like how that vocal turned out. So I'm kind of getting like, like a Gunna and Travis Scott type vibe from the melody we're getting right now. So the next thing I'm gonna add is a synth bass. So I'm gonna open up Analog Lab. I'm gonna go to Instruments, Profit 5. We're gonna change it to Bass. And I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna try this bass wave right here. It's just kind of like a synth bass and then we're gonna try and uh, move on from there. All right, cool, so I like that. So what we're gonna do next is split the channel and bring it into the playlist. And I'm gonna just arrange it a little bit. So we're gonna have the uh, eight bar intro and just take the bass out. But um, I gotta create an automation clip just to make sure the bass doesn't carry over. And then um, I'm gonna have this part with all instruments and then I'm gonna take out the vocal and then just the chord progression. Cool, and then what I'm gonna do here is go to the master channel. I'm gonna arm it for recording. Hit Alt-R and just start. And that is just going to record it as a wave, uh, a wave audio file. There we go. So this just will take a little bit of stress off the CPU. And I'm gonna delete all this crap out of here bring this up and then I'm gonna make a new pattern and call it drums and we're gonna start working on the drums so with the drums here the main thing I'm gonna focus on is you're gonna want the 808 to do like that three hit that like wheezy beats and just gonna beats in general usually have So for the hi-hat pattern, I used uh, MIDI from Holy's Global Hi-Hat MIDI Kit. And then I just uh, changed it a little bit. It just repeats for two bars, so it's super simple, but that's kind of the goal with like Gunna Beats and just Wheezy Beats. They're like simple enough, but sounds good. All right, so I'm gonna just move on to the 808. So here, I'll show you guys what I mean by the three hit. So it's just like this. Alright, 
so 808 pattern, kind of weird, but uh, I feel like if you listen to most of the like the new Wheezy Beats and stuff like that, he's using like these really unique 808 patterns. They kind of fit like the same style, but they have like these, just like a, a bouncier feel to it, which is what I try to do. So next thing I'm gonna do is just add an open hat on the first hit of the 808 just to make it hit a little bit harder. <laughs> All right, so last thing I'm gonna add is just a kick. And I'm actually going to be using, shout out Holy again, I'm gonna be using the uh, Shardy Got a Thumper V2. Actually, probably, probably V1 actually. And kick is super simple, we're just having to hit on the one. So let's move on to the next part, which is the arrangement. So I'm going to split the drum channel up. We're just bring it out like this. And then if you remember from earlier in the video, we had this first eight bar intro with a, uh, a bass. So I'm going to make the pattern unique and route it to mixer track five. Let me just make sure there's no effects on here. Yeah, five. So there's no EQ on this just so you can hear the entire bass. And then this part of the melody is routed to four with an EQ, so it's cut out so the 808 can cut through. All right, so the arrangement for this is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I think I'm gonna have it drop down to uh, just the chords when it first drops, but there's gonna be no kick basically you're gonna go like this, so no kick, and then it's gonna go back to the normal melody. So it's gonna sound like this, basically. All right, so that is the arrangement I'm gonna do, and then I would just duplicate it over. But before I do that, I'm gonna go back to my drum kit, and I'm gonna go to the effects, and I'm gonna just drag in this little like whoosh sound effect just as like a riser, track it out, and we'll just turn the volume down just a little bit and see how it sounds real quick. Perfect. So that is how I want that to go. And then I'm going to just duplicate this over, I think, twice. Nope. We're looking at just once. And we are set. So uh, all I would do after this is just go to the master channel, create automation clip. And have the, uh, have the volume fade out right here at the end. Cool. And then after that, I would just mix it. So I'm going to mix this beat. And then I'm going to play it after. But before I do that, that is all I got for this video. So guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. That will make me upload more. And you'll be notified when I upload. Also, turn those bell notifications on. Follow me on Instagram and all my socials at OKQ. My drum kits, loop kits, and everything else. Links in the description for that if you're at all interested. Also... I got a Discord server, links in the description. So if you're interested in that, hit that link, join it, come talk to me, chat with me, all that. Check the community posts if you're interested in that. I got a bunch of like, you can vote for what you want to see in the next video. But that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.